Microsoft Sentinel has a feature called Near Real-Time Analytic Rules. With these rules, you can generate an alert much faster than the traditional scheduled analytic rules. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about the Near Real-Time Analytic Rules and why and where you can use them. Run the intro. Hello world, and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're doing well, I am doing fine. So in this video, I would like to talk about the near real-time analytic rules in Microsoft Sentinel. In my previous video, I told you a lot about the scheduled analytic rules and incidents that are getting created by other Microsoft products. We did not talk about the near real-time uh, analytic rules. So imagine you have a crown jewel or a account or something really precious in your environment where you cannot wait for a scheduled rule to get triggered uh, when most likely a threat is happening. That is where you can use the near real-time analytic rules. So without further ado, let's get a good cup of coffee and I'll tell you everything about the near real-time analytic rules in Microsoft. That was a very nice cup of coffee. And I don't know in how much detail you have seen that video, that B-roll section, but this was actually the first B-roll that was starring my own Azure Vlog uh, cup. Really nice. So let's talk about the near real-time rules uh, for a minute before I'm going to show you how you can uh, set them up. Because they are a little bit different than the scheduled rules. For example, for scheduled rules, we can say the interval in which we want the rule to run. We cannot do that for the near real-time rule. They run every minute and they look back for the data a minute ago. So we cannot change it. It's hard-coded, it's in there. We can only use 50 near real-time rules in our Sentinel workspace. There is a limit on them. And another big limit that is in there we cannot use any union or any join statement. We can only use one table for the near real-time rule. So let's now talk about the situation where you want uh, to use the near real-time rule. In my case, they are used in the situation where you have a really precious asset or something that you want to protect, where you cannot wait for your scheduled rule to get triggered. 
for example, a break the glass account. Um, you can set up a scheduled rule which runs every 10 minutes. Uh, but hey, if it's a attacker that already has logged in with a global administrator account in 10 minutes, he can do a lot. So you probably want to get notified earlier. That's the situation where you can use a near real-time rule. It looks back at a period of one minute and it runs every minute. So uh, at, at most, the attacker has two minutes of time before you get notified. So let's switch over to my Sentinel environment and I'll show you how we can create a near real-time rule. So here we are at the Sentinel workspace. If we go to analytics over here and we click on create, there's an option near real-time query rule. Near real-time query rules how are, however, uh, still in preview. That means that Microsoft can change stuff um, and it's not fully completed general available yet. So keep that in mind when using this, uh, this feature. Let's click on it and that will bring us to the uh, wizard. I will create a near real-time rule for the break the glass account scenario that I uh, showed you earlier. I have a break account the glass setup in this environment and as soon as it get, uh, gets touched with a sign in or, or something, I want to get notified about it because in normal circumstances, that account should not be used. So let's give this a name. Um, break the glass account used. The break the glass account has been used in normal circumstances. This account should not be used. I think this is credential access. Uh, I think it's uh, credentials from password stores. I don't know the right uh, Mitro classification uh, exactly. If you know, please let me know uh, in the comments of this uh, video. Uh, I will use the severity high as this is important. Uh, the status is enabled. Let's set uh, the, the rule logic. I already have prepared my, uh, my KQL. So what I do, I'm looking in the sign in logs table and I search for everything that is using the emergency at unionison.onmicrosoft.com account. This is my break the glass account. Let's go to alert enrichment and we can do entity mapping over here. In my previous video about analytic rules where I showed you all these options over here, I already talked about the importance of entity mapping. So let's set a uh, account uh, uh, entity mapping up over here. Uh, let's go for full name. I think uh, we need to select the alternate sign in name over here because I think the full name was the, uh, uh, the full UPN. I will leave event grouping and suppression uh, under default settings. Uh, we want to have an incident as soon as uh, this alert gets triggered. I don't want to enable grouping. And here we are at automation. And this is, I think, a really interesting uh, uh, part. I think that when you are using a near real-time rule, you have to do something with automation. You are configuring this rule to detect a threat as soon as possible. So you all, you most likely also want to uh, respond on it as soon as possible. I think the only way to respond fast is by, uh, by using uh, automation. So after uh, I have created and set up this analytic rule, I will also enable a uh, analytic rule that notifies me uh, using uh, Teams. So Let's go back to the desktop. We'll leave this right now, but in a minute I will uh, enable uh, the, uh, the automated response uh, for this, uh, this alert. Let's go to review. Here we have the, the configuration. We see the KQL over here uh, and, and the mapping. Let's click on create and that will uh, create the uh, near real-time 
analytic rule. While recording this video, I came to the conclusion that I only have a Teams notification logic app running, which works with uh, uh, incidents that are Defender for Endpoint related as we have options in there to uh, uh, isolate a device. So let's make use of this moment and I'll show you how I create my, uh, my logic apps. If we switch to my desktop, I already uh, have opened up the uh, uh, Logic Apps uh, Designer and I've created a Logic App called Notify using uh, Teams. Um, I want to, the, the first thing that we have to do is set up a trigger. So let's search for Sentinel. It might take a minute. Here we are and I want to have the Sentinel incident trigger. Um, I already have running other uh, logic apps in this resource group, so it's automatically uh, uh, connected. So the next step would be, if we search for Sentinel, to get the entities, I think. Sentinel. Here you are, Microsoft Sentinel, get uh, I think there was something with get account entity, get accounts, great. And we need to select the uh, the entities list from our incident over here. So all the variables that you see over here are uh, ingested in this logic app through this uh, trigger. So let's click on entities. So I know what account uh, might be uh, breached. And the next step uh, will be to search for Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams, is there something? Of course there is Microsoft Teams. Post a message in a chat or channel. That was the one that we uh, need to have. I want to post it in a channel. I want to post it in my security operations center team. And I want to post it in the general, uh, the general channel. Now I can type my message over here. A new incident has reported. So here I can select the variables. If I go to in Microsoft Sentinel incident and I search here for uh, something like uh, the title and description. I think there's title, incident title. Okay, so title. I think we can also search for the incident description. I can also select the account. Let's remove this, show less, show more. And let's use the uh, account name. So it now automatically uh, put the uh, post message in a chat or channel in a for each loop as there might be multiple accounts attached to a uh, Sentinel incident. So this is, uh, this is okay. And uh, this all looks good right now. So let's save this logic app. So we have the, uh, the automation uh, on hand. Let's go back to Microsoft Sentinel. Let's select my Sentinel workspace. Let's go to automation. This is the place where we can create automation rules. And here I uh, will make sure that my logic app gets triggered when the uh, incident is created. So analytic rule name, uh, notify uh, through Teams, trigger when the incident is created, incident provider is okay, the analytic rule name, and I can select here, break the glass account used. I will leave all this stuff uh, default, but for actions, I will uh, click on run playbook. I think I can select my uh, uh, notify using Teams logic app over here. And when I click on apply, we are now set. So, so when this incident, the near real time rule gets triggered, this will automatically send a message through 
Teams. It's enabled and it's being used for this analytic rule. Okay, let's now show the, the whole set of, uh, of stuff in action. So I'm going to log in using my emergency account, my break the glass account. And we should, according to the document, documentation, see a really fast response in, in Teams uh, that, uh, th that the emergency account is being used. So let's switch over to my desktop and click on sign in. Yes. Use uh, use the MFA for it. Let's wait for the MFA to get in. Yes, stay signed in. Oh, that was actually interesting. Ah, we are signed in using the uh, the emergency uh, account. So we are signed in now. Let's wait over here and see how long it takes for our message to uh, to get delivered. Okay, and so here we uh, we have it. For those who are watching this video and really uh, looking into the uh, the time, it might be a little bit more than two minutes. What what Microsoft actually is is promising it that the is that the near real time rule works within two minutes after ingestion time. There is a lot of stuff going on into in the Azure Active Directory before the log gets into Microsoft Sentinel. So it might be a little bit more than uh, than two minutes, but hey, this is uh, quite fast. And you saw that the uh, the automation rule got uh, got triggered, and we we got a notification in uh, in Microsoft Teams, so we can follow up this uh, this incident. Um, really nice. So in this video, you learned what a near real time rule is and what the difference are uh, compared to the uh, normal uh, scheduled rules. For a near real time rule, we have some limits in there. We can only use one table. We can only have 50 of them in our Sentinel workspace. Um, and we cannot set the, uh, the intervals on which they run. They always run on an interval of one minute and they look back at the data uh, of that minute uh, before. So if you like this content, please hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe to this uh, channel. Most of you are still not subscribed. Um, it means a lot to me if you if you will subscribe because that helped me uh, growing this channel. So please uh, do that. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.